What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're back in turmoil, I guess. The heat is on. If the heat is on, you better turn it off, man. If you got a house, that power bill is going to get crazy. I'll tell you what, winter and summer, equally expensive. Although, honestly, I think, I think air conditioning is worse. I think air conditioning costs more in my experience. So we're back in town after a couple of successful runs. We got a little bit of money to sit on right now, which I think is a really good spot to be. Welcome to Maves. This is the place for drinks, deals, and dicey stuff. Okay, so like what kind of deals are you talking about? Talk to me for drinks, talk to the customers for other shady stuff. Right Incorporated can be even more right. For a small personal donation, our price will stay above 0.74. Does a lower interest rate sound good? Pay me some cash and I'll reduce next year's interest rates by 20%. I don't know how play a game of higher or lower with me. Hmm. I don't know how interest rates affect things. Like, are the, is the interest rate what I'm paying on the random locations? I really don't know. I have no idea. I couldn't honestly tell you. I would like to have branching. What does magma do? With this upgrade, moles will uncover magma if they're close to it. That's probably a good thing to know. I think they skip it as of right now. I'm going to go with Branch 3 so we can be a little bit more effective, though, as far as how we mine. These guys have any new stuff that they're picking up right now, or are they just playing with all that old stuff? They've stuck with all the old things. Okay, I think I might actually be in the market to make my silos a little bit mo bigger, too. So where are my silos at? Size 3 is going to cost 15 Gs. All right, I can go in on that. I think upgrades are going to be very, very important for us to maintain some methods for magma. We've already done that. Close all those down so that the play is good to go. And we need to go to the land auction. So let's find out what's going on. So we had a 40 right there. I'm going to bid right there. If somebody else wants to bid on it, they can bid on it, but I doubt that they will when the field is so open. Next round, we'll probably have people bidding. He's up here just having a smorgasbord as Durgan right now, but... And you can exploit at magma as soon as you can. Let my moles help you. I don't see how exploiting magma is going to help. Like, how does magma help me here? Because, like, I get heat-resistant pipes, right? But I don't mine the magma. Do I? I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to give it a look. I've been avoiding it for right now. I've been just going around it and hoping for the best. But let's get our dowsers running here. Dowser, do your thing. It's your stick. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you where to find the oil. Go do your thing, man. Come on. I need a little bit of that success. I'm also going to put a mole down over there, and we'll see how it goes. Moles, dowsers, it really kind of depends what you want to get after. They both are equally good at finding what they're looking for. Oh, we got a... Looks like we got something right there. I'm going to put down a rig right here. And let's dig for a minute. At least I know where I'm going with that one. And so that looks like a really, really big body over there. And just like my cars, that's how I like my oil, big bodied. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, we got a little bit of oil right there, so let's go ahead and hitch up some houses. So there's our first house right there. I'm going to put down a silo just to say that I've done it. And he can drop that all off over there. Uh, we are going to need a little bit more money, but I'm waiting for that to hit a price that is not absolutely abysmal. As of right now, both of the prices are fairly settled in locations where I don't want them to be. And so we might end up waiting it out for right now. Make the silo a little bit bigger. Make sure it can hold lots of oil because we're just doing basic oily stuff right now. 350, I can get another oil rig right there, but I can't guarantee that I can get somebody down to that spot and also hire a horse at the same time. So we're not going to stress about it for right now. Let's just wait and see what happens, amigos. Uh, prices are settled but it looks like red may be going in pretty soon we'll see what that speeds up to yeah we'll see if it slows down i really honestly can't tell you go ahead and sell it red give me a couple more horses there we go uh everybody sell it red for right now it's not going to be an amazing price but we got to get a little bit of seed money so that we can get work and we're already almost done with the first quarter and that worries me tremendously. We've now got enough for another rig that we can put in right there. Rig all taken care of. I'm hoping we find some gas pretty soon, too. I mean, my number one strategy, you guys saw in the last episode, is just to wait till I find gas, store as much oil as possible, and then once I know what I'm looking for, uh, that's when we start to get it done. That's starting to... Oh, it's still going up. All right, well, if you want to sell it a dollar, that's fine by me. I don't have a problem with it. I'll probably put in another silo pretty soon. Yep, keep them running off to that side. Good. That's what I like to see. It's going up to a buck thirteen, huh? 
That's not a bad price at all. That's in fact, that's a pretty damned amazing price. Buck 14 for raw. I think the highest I've seen it go up is a buck 30 or a buck 50 for raw. It's still going up too. Well, keep on selling. I see no reason not to. You go ahead and siphon off of those the best you can. And then as soon as we're done over there, so it looks like it's receding right now. I'll let them finish off the last load or two. And then what we'll do is we'll take them horses off of the job. So we're done right there. What we need now is we need to find some more stuff. So I'm going to put a mole down right there. I'm going to put a mole down right there. And like a mole right there. Hopefully they do their thing and they end up finding something useful for me. Both of these right here, that chamber is going to be pretty good. That chamber over there is solid. This one is already running out though. And so we're going to need to find something new before we can do anything else right there. That to me looks like magma that we're creeping down towards. Whereas the mole won't go down into the magma. The mole will indeed dig around the edges of the magma. We got some gas right there, which is fantastic. I think that's going to lead into our strategy of selling off at the end of the season after hitting something with a big gas explosion. But we can't do that right now. I got him selling over there. Why are you selling over there, man? You're, you're messing up my plan right now. You're messing up my plan, G. I'm going to put you in right there. Get another one. Keep ourselves nice and stocked up. I don't think there's anything to panic about just yet. That chamber is going to be gone in a minute. That's gas right there. It looks like... I think that's a spot on my screen. I don't think that's oil. Let's put a mole in right there. Let's put a mole in right there. I very much like the moles better than the dowsers. Because when you go down with the dowsers, you don't know what you're going to get. Whereas with the moles, they'll often uncover things. And you can get a pretty good idea for what's around those things if you just stick with it. I don't know if I'm going to go over there for the gas that I want. Ah, he's traveling upwards. That's a mistake. That's not good at all. Ooh, do we have another body right there? I think we do. I think we do. I can't upgrade that right there, but I can go around or I can do a second. I don't know if I want to do a second rig or not, but there's another one right there. So I can either take a branch off there and go out and around and down. Sure. It saves money. Let's get that thing going down about as far as we can for right now. We're waiting for a price equalization. We're almost halfway through the year, which is disappointing. I hit a rock right there. Well, that's a disappointment. I don't like that at all. I am going to have to sell a little bit of oil just to keep us trucking. So let's put uh, one cart on Bequeathery over there. And then as soon as he's unloaded one more time, I think I can live with the results. So that guy is out right there. We need to find something else to do with him. I mean, we can just do exploratory mining if we're really worried about it, but I don't know. We got 80 cents going in right there. I'll increase that so we start making some money in just a minute. Now, the other thing we might want to think about doing is let's get that down to there. And so now we got two flows going through. And it'll depend if that has enough suction to get it done. That's going up to 85 cents right now. Give me another mole. Just kind of root around on that side. Anywhere where we've got empty dirt. I need to find out what's going on. My thought is... I take a line down to there and I grab that gas. I'd like to get this rig back up and functioning. I'll be honest with you. If I can't get that rig up and functioning, there we go. we got something right there. That's looking pretty good. He's creeping up to 87 cents right now. Still not good enough, man. Still not good enough. I don't know if I should just drop another rig right there. I think I shalt. We'll grab that. And we don't have any gas on that side, but we do have something right there. I don't know what that is, but it looks like another oil, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's take a mole. And we're going to drop him down right there so that we know what the first dig is. Good mole. You know how hard it must be to train a mole? I honestly, I don't even know what would go into training a mole. Seems like it'd be challenging, though. That's actually a magma bed. So I'm actually pretty glad that I scouted that one out. Seeing as it's August, let's go ahead and get some upgrades going right here. And I need both those bodies to be done sooner rather than later. It looks to me like right's on the rise, so let's go ahead and send a couple of carts over there to make us some money. 
Give me another one right there to fill up off of that, Derek, because it is pulling way too much oil right now. And we're going to get ourselves into trouble if we keep that one going. Uh, we've got a couple of months left to sort the rest of this map out. I think getting down to there is a really good idea. I hit magma. You bumped something hot. Okay. Uh, let me know what's down there. I need to know where that runs to before I go any further with it. I mean, I could try and dig around it, and we'll just see what happens. Like, I don't necessarily want to, but if they're up at a dollar, go ahead and sell off right there for right now. Uh, you go down to the gas vein, because we need to pump that up, because it's getting towards the end of the year. Which is a bit of a problem. I should have put another... I should have put another joint right there. Oh well. Run that up to there, although I'm pretty sure we're going to hit stone. So let's go ahead and upgrade that drill so it's ready to go. And the second that that one launches off, we'll see what we can do here. I'm going to go around the horn and hope for the best. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get me down to right there and do it as fast as possible. And as soon as that's done, we are going to unload. So upgrade everything. Gas is going over there. Uh, give me a few more wagons. And we don't have a lot of gas on that side. So we need to make this work for us quick. Like, we have some gas over there, but not nearly enough, in my opinion. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we didn't make that much money. I'm a little disappointed by that pull, but... You know, we'll do what we gotta do here. Uh, keep unloading off on that side. I didn't have all my horses on it. That's what happened. Okay. Get that. We can reopen that pipeline right there real quick. This guy's almost done. And we'll keep selling on that side. We're basically gonna sell straight through for the rest of the year. Uh, we're not really gonna mess around too much more with the things that we can do here. Uh, other things that I'd like to do is if I can take that down to there... I can close that off, and then go over to there. And then we go up like so. That might set us up. I don't know if it's going to get there in time, but it's worth a shot. Stop selling over there. Uh, just grab whatever you can from that side and that side. Start taking it back to one of these areas. We are going to have a massive sell-off at the end of the year. And I, if we hit anything over here, we're completely, totally hosed. But we should have enough time to get this done. So everybody get some oil up in there. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Get those things unloaded. Perfect. And as soon as that goes in, we'll mess with the valve in just a second. I think we're going to need wit 3 so we can drain these faster. That's what I think. Open it up. And open it up. There we go. Gases are on their way out. I think that's leaking out through the other way. That was a mistake. I made a big mistake right there. Everybody get to selling over on this side. Like, we got to make more money. Otherwise, this is just going to be an embarrassment for the end of the year. So get whatever you can. Take it over there. Eh. More than likely could have done better, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Swap over to that side, everybody. We still got days left to sell. There's still money to be made in these hills. We still had two more down there, too. Yeah, I need wit three. I need wit three really badly. I could have drained those quicker if I had had it. I mean, there was only a couple more down and underneath. We made, like, $20,000. Not our best run. Uh, yeah, other people made a lot more money than we did. We had a pretty terrible run right there, and I'm not exactly sure why. Is it possible to take a look at the map? Come to Anthony's Underground to deal with all the special things you can find underground. And so we can find silver ore, we can find quartz, we can find all kinds of stuff. What I really need to do is figure out how magma is going to help me. Like, I'm thinking that, uh, so selling a gold nugget. We got Otto Bentz, he'll give us 5100 for a gold nugget. We got quartz around there. And so select a treasure in the cabinet to get more details. Gold weighs 19 times as much as water, but it's way more valuable. I know what I prefer when I'm in the desert. Okay, quartz is not actually very precious, but it's fun to look at. The ancient Greece and the Greeks use it to cool their hands. Huh, that's weird. 
Okay, it's an area one. Silver is not particularly rare, but finding a nugget of it in native form is really special. Okay. So I guess if I get one of those things, I can sell it to somebody, I guess. I don't know. So he's got a gold nugget for 5,000. So if I buy the gold nugget down low and cheap, can I sell it to somebody else later on? I doubt that that's how it works, but I just wanted to see what happened when I clicked over here at like rock bottom prices. And it seems like the 5,000 was a little bit better. Okay. Uh, we got methods for magma. I do want heat resistance, but I don't have it just yet. Blanche is killing us right now. I gotta figure out a way to make more money. I gotta get more. I gotta get some more stuff here. Uh, treasures. So with this upgrade, moles can dig up underground treasures. All right, with this upgrade, moles will uncover magma if they're close to it. All right. We'll see where it goes for right now. I think I'm misallocating my gas, too. Like, I think I need to wait till somebody's selling at a high, then hit it with gas and see where it goes. That might be where we're falling off the horse here. What does she have going on? She hasn't bought any upgrades. That's why she has so much money. I've bought a lot more upgrades than most of these people, so... So there's Shed. They got heat resistance right now. And he's got heat resistance, and he's got conductivity. What does conductivity do? Is that from you? Where is conductivity at? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I might have overdid it with horses that last run, too. I guess where I wasted probably about $1,500, $2,000. Let's do the land auction. Ooh, somebody got that goodie down there. Somebody got that goodie goodie. All right, I'm going to try right there. I'm going to take a risk. Yeah, let them, let them bid each other out right there. If they want to spend each other's money, I ain't got no complaints about it. They can spend each other's money. Back outside, need some help digging up underground treasure. Moles will do the trick. Yeah, I'm gonna get the mole treasures, I guess. I assume at some point I can sell them, maybe? And that's why I wanna get treasures, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, yep, let's do the 2,000 for the startup cost, and this time I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try and do a little better this time. To prevent spillage, you can control joints before they are finished. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Thank you. Uh, let's go with a dowser. He's gonna track down some oil for us. We'll get that started on up. And let's speed it up for a second until he finds something, and there it is. Oh, never mind. Where are you going to stop at, buddy? You and your hipster hat. Where are you going with them orange pants? Come on. Are those like the orange pants of oil finding plus 12? Man, he's struggling right now. He's having bad luck. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get this thing going. Let's see if we can find something down and around. Ooh, that's good. Okay, give me a horse here. And then, actually, just sell whatever you get. Like, I see no reason not to. Well, maybe not. I'm going to put in a rig right here. Or, I'm sorry, not a rig. We'll put in a silo. We'll let him do his thing. It looks like their price is on the up and up right there. And it looks like it's going to go up pretty high. So I think I can live with that. Go ahead and buy me a mole. Buy me a mole. Make it dig in the ground. Hope it finds me treasures. I hope it brings them around. I need some treasures. Uh, you go ahead and unload whatever you got over there. It looks like they're selling kind of high right now. And so if we can get a little bit of startup cash from over there, that sounds all right to me. Give me one more wagon. That was a pretty good grip of cash. Go ahead and send another horse over there. I'm going to put down a rig right there because it looks like we got a big old pot-bellied area down there. And I want to get that money at 132. That's a pretty good sell. That's, that's a really good sell price for default. It just went there all by itself. That's pretty incredible. Uh, we're going to use that to dig down to there. We don't really have the money for it. Hopefully we don't hit any magma beds or anything like that. But it's going to have to hold for right now. Perfecto. All good on that front. Uh, as soon as that stops producing, let's get two more horses. There we go. Everybody sell over there. As long as that's up above a buck, like, hey, why not? We might as well get ourselves some extra cash. I don't see a reason not to. I'll probably cut them all off when they're at like a buck oh five or something, because that means whoever runs over there last is going to make less money. But with where it's sitting right now, I ain't got a problem with it. All right, everybody take that stuff back to the silos. Get it done. Uh, that's a big old, that's a huge chamber right there. We've also got another one down on that side. 
but we run the risk of running into rocks, stones, and other nastiness if we try to go down there. I will go ahead and give myself another rig to play around with on that side. You gotta be careful with your rig, man. It's a dangerous world out there for a man's rig. And then I'll start to put him down that way. Hopefully we don't collide with anything important. That would be the suckage. But no rocks, no rocks, no whammies, no magma. Whoa, we made it. Okay, well, there you go. And we got a magma bed right there that we could conceivably need to worry about. I don't think... What are we doing on cash right now? All right, everybody start selling. Everybody in the club start selling. Everybody in the club start selling. Okay. That's a pretty damned good price right there. That's a hell of a price. All right, dig that thing down to right there. Get us into the chamber so I can figure out how big that damn thing is. Uh, we are going to upgrade you. Give me two more horses for right now. And then we will fiddle. That's a really good price for oil right there. I'm happy with it. That's a very reasonable, solid default price. And that would be actually, in my opinion, when you want to push for gas. So I'm going to go to right there. Then we're going to go down to that gas. We're going to close that off so that it's all nice and it's inside of its own little sequestered area. We'll wait for him to get another rush so we can make some profits over here. But we're only in April and we're pushing that money up. It might be a little bit before his numbers start to push up again, but I mean, I think I can deal with it. So there's that. Let me take that back over to there. No, we want this to go up to there after a little bit. And we got a big chamber right there, so chances are it's a good idea. All right, so start saving some of the oil for the big sell-off. I need that to be a little bit bigger. We're going to upgrade our wagons. Uh, that guy right there needs to be upgraded. Two more wagons, and I think that should be good enough to keep us trucking. Just my thought about the matter. We may need a second silo to store some of this stuff up, but I want to know what's down there. I want to know what's down there. I want to know what's down there. And just give me a whole bunch of moles. Do your thing. I need moles all inside the enemy's territory for this to work. Otherwise, we're just we're failing and we're not making it happen. I want to make sure we drain all these chambers out and that we find all the other chambers too before we bounce up and out of here. I may be able to do a big push right there if I can mine. So my thought is this. I take this all the way over to there. Then from there, we take another branch to go up to there, and then we have double the gas. It might be worth the attempt. We're going to need another silo. There you go. Try not to have any spills right now, but accidents happen. Horsies, get back over there and make this occur for me. I don't have anything over on that side. I mean, I don't see a problem with trying. Like, we can give it a go. Actually, I didn't even need that to be closed. I just wasted a bunch of money. And then from there, good. That branch will still work. Fantastic. That's what I was a tiny bit concerned about. I need that branch to still work. We are going to push red up to ridiculous heights if we can manage it. And so don't stress just yet. Those chambers are draining out about as fast as they can. Remember to save enough money to get the valves going. I'm gonna start selling off one tank of oil over here every so often, just to see if we can make a little bit of extra money. I don't wanna sell a lot, just a little, but enough to keep us in business. And then from there, what I really need is to take that up to that side. I'll take it to there first though, so I've got a finalized valve, and then we'll finish it off. So we'll close from right there, and then we'll take it up to there. So now we're in the market to make like a pretty good rush on the other side stock. So we'll go like three sellers over there just to make sure that we don't stay completely and totally topped up on all of our stuff. It looks like he's back on an increase, although how fast and how well he's going to make that happen, we don't really know. As soon as this place is done right here, I'm actually going to upgrade that one too. We'll push this one down into this chamber so we can finish it off. So how fast is he going on that side? He's going pretty good. 
Go ahead and do it. Alright. Everybody over here. Get them going. Yep, I need all them doggies. To push for the best price that we can get on that side. Everything that I can steal out of this thing is open and fair game. So the first gas chamber isn't even done yet. Everybody slow down for a second. I was just trying to take the edge off of everything. As soon as the first chamber is done, that's pushing up to $2 right now. That's very, very good. All right, now we'll have everybody go because we're not even done with both chambers yet. We're pushing up like hard prices right now, and there's really no telling how high it's going to go. Like, I'm just not sure. We'll go ahead and upgrade that too so that we can bleed off that thing about as fast as we possibly can. Alright, so first gas chamber ain't even done yet. Ooh, I think we're in the money right now. I surely, surely do. Oh, we didn't sell off all of our stock, though. Ah! Like, it's okay. I'm not upset about it, but... I would have liked to have gotten a better yield off that right there. I mean, 45,000 ain't bad with the timing and whatnot. We do need to unload all of our stocks, though. And if we can't get that done soon... Alright, take all them off that. Refill all of this stuff over here. Make sure that the Derricks have lots of stuff going on inside of them. Uh, build me... A bunch of moles. I want to find some treasures. And I'm okay with spending some money right now. I ain't against it. This is one of my favorite effects in the entire game when you send down like a hundred moles at the same time. Makes me happy. Now we got another oil right there. I think the most efficient way to get at it is just to drill from right there actually. And then we open that guy and we close that guy. I mean that's a long pipeline right there but hey. It's October huh? Eh. I'd like to push something else up but I think that was our main rush. Once we get to November, I'm going to have them start selling, I think. That looks like a little tiny chamber right there. I don't know if that's going to give us anything worthy of our time. So as soon as he starts to push up a little rise right there. Oh, it looks like it's going to go up sharp. Okay, so give me two more horses. And everybody sell, sell, sell over there. Uh, get rid of everything we've got. Like, we're basically at the end of the year anyways. I see no reason why we shouldn't just try to capitalize on the amount of money that we can make. We got a little bit behind some of the other oil barons. And so my thought is we need to have a really good round. And, you know, like, let them have their problems and we'll have ours. You go back up over here. I don't know if we're going to fix it. I don't know if we're going to finish that thing off right there. But, hell, that was a pretty good push right there. Chaining all those gas veins together. Um, I'm proud of what we accomplished right there. We done good. We done real, real good. We didn't get everything, but we came close. Oh, the silver's like right there. Crazy. So that's what it looks like. Now I know. We made 74,000 or 64,000. I think we took the tops on that one. Everybody else had a bad month. Yeah, we got ourselves wealthy. This game is called Turmoil with the DLC. The heat is on. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can look down below to get that. I've got a link for you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. It's very, very simple, and it helps the channel out more than you know. If you wanted to support me further, you can check out the Patreon. If you wanted to hang out live, you can check out my Twitch stream. All of those things are down in the description. So feel free to join us. I'd love to have you. See y'all later. Hi to everybody.